Dippy loved working on the Western Valley Railway. He is a red saddle tank engine working on his branch line with passengers and freight. Dippy loved some of his jobs because it made him feel proud and useful. But sometimes there were some special things that Dippy never had before. One day. Dippy left his coaches at the shunting yard so that he could take some freight cars of hay up to the farms. All right, let's get to it. As Dippy puffed away, he passed Kyle. Morning, Dippy. Good morning, Kyle. It's nice to see you out and about today. Well, all right. Goodbye then. As Dippy was out of sight. Miss Edwards ran out of her office. She wanted to talk to Dippy about something. Oh dear, Dippy is gone now. What's the matter, Miss Edwards? Yeah, what's wrong with Dippy? Oh, nothing is the matter with Dippy. I just heard from Miss Sparks, the important visitor. She wanted to go to the town of Masterson today, and she asked for Dippy to take her. <gasps> What an honor! I only wish she had picked me, but she had picked Dippy, and he doesn't know about this yet. Don't worry, Miss Edwards. I'll catch up and tell Dippy. I'll take his hay for him. And Taffy whistled away. Well, in that case, Kyle, I need you to get Dippy's coaches ready for Dippy to take Miss Sparks. She was waiting at the harbor for him to pick her up. Right away, Miss Edwards. But as Kyle spotted Dippy's coaches in the shunting yard, he had a thought. As splendid and smart as those coaches are, they're a little bit old-fashioned to carry Miss Sparks. She would surely want the bigger, more special coaches than them. Kyle looked around, and then he saw two dark green coaches sat on the siding at the end of the yard. Hey, Sandy, what are those coaches over there? I've never seen it being used. Those are the express coaches. Heather only takes them when she gets to carry lots of important visitors all around the railway, especially since they were also used for the mainline passenger express trains. But those coaches will be perfect for Miss Sparks. Kyle coupled up to the coaches, and with difficulty pulled them to the platform. Uh, Kyle, doesn't Dippy take his own coaches? You know the ones he pulls them for his branch line train, and they are all painted red like him. I know, but Miss Sparks will need grander coaches. Sandy wasn't so sure, but left anyway, heading back to collect her own coaches for her passenger train. When Dippy returned, he covered up to what he thought was his own coaches, unaware of Kyle's decision. Dippy blew his whistle and steamed away. Ready to take his special visitor to the town of Masterson, he found his coaches to be very heavy. Oh, goodness me! There aren't a heavy side there. The passengers must be already on board, and there were the refreshment workers given out to serve lots of food for the passengers inside. Miss Edwards had come out to check on the scheduled trains outside, but saw to her surprise that Dippy had pulled away, pulling the wrong coaches. Dippy, stop! But Dippy didn't hear, and soon pulled out of sight. Kyle, did you give Dippy those coaches? Yes, Miss Edwards. I thought Miss Sparks needed the more modern and larger coaches than Dippy's branch line coaches, so I gave Dippy the express coaches to pull her in. But Dippy won't be able to pull such heavy coaches that far without wearing himself out. Dippy had been having to wear himself out when he was helping Sandy delivering freight cars to the Bowers yards before, and you know fully well that Dippy isn't designed for pulling lots of heavy trains. It doesn't matter that his coaches are old or in a different shape on his branch line. Besides, Miss Sparks had even said that she looked forward to riding in the coaches of their own class. Kyle felt terrible. I'm sorry, Miss Edwards. I just did what I thought was the right thing. You are forgiven this time, but for right now, the right thing to do is to take Dippy's coaches and catch up with Dippy as quickly as you can. 
Right away, Miss Edwards. Kyle didn't waste any time. He covered up to Dibby's coaches and pulled out of Hawkins Station as fast as he could. Meanwhile, Dibby was struggling to reach the harbor and had to stop for a rest. Oh dear! At this rate, I will be late. I can't understand how they're so heavy. I can explain. Kyle, what are you doing here? I've come to give you your coaches. I realize my mistake now. I should never have made that decision on my own. I should have asked you or Miss Edwards. I hope you'll be on time now, Dippy. I will be. If you help me, I look worn out. If you could be my baggage into the harbor, I can still make it. Kyle was happy to help and make up for the confusion and delay he caused. He shunted the express coaches into the siding, then coupled himself and Dippy's coaches behind Dippy. All right, let's go, Dippy. Dippy and Kyle blew their whistles and they set off. In no time, they arrived at the harbor. Miss Sparks was surprised to see Kyle, but as she boarded the coaches, Dippy was rested enough to take her to the town of Masterson on his own. Goodbye, Kyle, and thank you for your help. No problem, Dippy, and I'm sorry about what happened. Those coaches are the most special coaches to you, and they are the only ones you really need. And Dippy and Miss Sparks, admiring the coaches inside and out, couldn't agree more.